In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a trifold brochure in Microsoft Word. I'm going to start from absolute scratch, creating the structure for the trifold brochure. I'll also show you some tips and tricks in terms of the best way to insert text, images, and other content in your brochure. First of all, I'm going to show you how to do this if you live in the US using imperial measurements and the letter paper size, but I'll also show you how to do this using metric measurements and the A4 paper size. Now, the first thing you want to do is to work out what paper size you actually have. So if you go to the layout tab on your ribbon, go to the size button. At the moment, I've got my paper size set to letter and I'm using imperial measurements on my ruler. Then change the orientation to landscape and we're going to change the margins. So we go to the margins button and then down to custom margins. These are the settings I would recommend. For your top margin, you want 0.59. For your bottom margin, 0.2. For your left and right margins, 0.39. And then click on OK. The next step is to create a table. So if you go to the insert tab on your ribbon, go to table, and you want to create a table with one row and five columns. And make sure you're still in the first column within your table. Go to the Layout tab on your ribbon, and you're going to change the width. And the width of the first column is going to be 2.88. Then go across the second column, and that column is going to be 0.79. The third column, is going to be 2.88. Fourth column, 0.79. And the final column, 2.88. So you should end up with equal margins on the left and right side of your paper. Now the height of your table needs to be set. So to do this, just click in any cell in your table Go to the Properties button. This is still on the Layout tab of your ribbon. Go to the Row tab. Click on Specify Height. Row height is exactly. And then put in this value, 7.48. Click on OK, and that should fill your page. And what you want to do is select the table by clicking on this little handle at the top here. Copy, Control C, and then Control V, and you'll get two pages with that table on. Okay, so that's how to create the basic structure for your trifold brochure if you're using the letter paper size with imperial units. Let's go and look at how to set up the same brochure for A4 paper size with metric units. Okay, so I'm in my document. Go to the Layout tab, set my size to A4. And I've got metric units on my ruler. Change the orientation to landscape. Go to margins, custom margins. And your margins here are 1.5 for the top margin, 0.5 for the bottom margin, for the left margin one, and for the right margin one. Click on OK. And then you need to insert your table. So let's insert table. You need one row with five columns. So the width of the first column, you need to set by going to the Layout tab and using the width setting, change it to 7.9 centimeters. The second column needs to be set to a width of two centimeters. The third column to a width of 7.9. Fourth to two centimeters and the last one to 7.9 and you should end up with equal space on either side of your table now you need to set the height of your table if you're on the layout tab you can go to properties go to the row tab tick this option specify height set row height is to exactly and the value you want is 18.5 click on ok and that should fill your page 
Then select the table by clicking on this handle at the top left of your table. Copy it, Control C, Control V to paste, and you should end up with a table on two pages. So the next set of steps will work whatever paper size you're using. What you want to do is turn off the borders on your table. The table is essentially just going to be used as a guide. So if you click on this handle at the top left here, go to the table design tab, go to your borders button and show no borders. And that should apply that setting to both pages. Now, if you can't see these grid lines, go to the layout tab and make sure view grid lines is ticked. If it isn't, you won't actually see anything in your document. Now, in terms of how the layout of the trifold brochure works, on the first page, the rightmost column is your front leaf of the trifold brochure, and the middle one is the back of the trifold brochure, and the leftmost column is the inside leaf. The second page contains all of your internal pages. That's internal one, internal two, and internal three. So it's very much up to you in terms of what you put on each panel of your trifold brochure, but I will show you some tips and tricks in terms of formatting and entering content. Now, I would recommend using text boxes for your text content within your trifold brochure. If you go to the insert tab on your ribbon, go to the text box button and draw text box. You can use these grid lines as a guide. You can resize your text box once you've inserted it. So it fits nicely within the grid lines. And then you probably want to take the border off of your text box. So with it selected, go to your shape format tab and you can change the shape outline to no outline. Now you can change the background color of these text boxes. If you go to shape fill, this is on the shape format tab again, you can choose a background color. So obviously you can also type into your text boxes. So if I type company name, now in terms of the format of the text within your text boxes, if you select the text, go to your home tab, so you can apply formats manually using these options here. For example, I could change the font. I could change the color. I could change the size. But if I just remove that, the other thing you might want to do is set up some styles for your brochure. So for example, I could use the heading one style, but then if I right click on it and go to modify, I can select my formatting options from here. Click on OK. And the great thing about using styles is that you can use that style in other parts of your brochure. So I'll just make this slightly smaller. And obviously I could insert more text boxes. Take the outline off. And put some text in, some placeholder text. Now, if you wanted to insert an image, like a logo or something else into your brochure, click somewhere in the column that you want to insert it, and then go to insert pictures. And then from this device, I'm selecting a logo here. And then you'll want to resize it. Now the trick here is to use this wrap layout options button you change it to square and then drag it to wherever you want it to appear within that column. So let's do something on the inside leaf. I click into that column, insert text box, draw text box. I'll draw something down here. I'll change the fill color, take off the border, I'll put in some text. Now again, I can set up a style for the text on this blue background. If I select that text, go to Home, 
could use the normal style. If I right click on it, modify, I'm going to change the font. And I'm going to change the color. Click on OK. And what you'll notice is that it's also changed the font color for the text over here. So what I could do is select this text and create an additional style. So in the style group, I can click on this drop down, create a style. I could call this text on white background. Modify. And here I can just change the text to black. Click on OK. So now I can have text that's black or text that is white within my brochure. Let's put a little heading up here. So I think what I'll do is I'll insert another text box in this column. Now for the text here, I'm going to use heading two, but I'm going to modify heading two. At the moment, it's inheriting the font color from the normal style. So I'm going to change this to blue and I'll change the font size to 16. And I'm going to go for Amasis MT Pro Black. And then I can write mission statement. And I can bring this down a little bit. Now I don't want a background color for this text box. So what I'm going to do is go to shape format, shape fill, no fill. I also need to take the outline off of the text box. Now let's go to the inside of the brochure. And I'm going to insert some text boxes. I'll start in the first column. And I want a text box here. And I'm going to take the outline off. And then I'm going to copy that over into this column. And I'm going to move this down here. So I've got a text box here and a text box here. I'm also going to put a text box over here. Now I'm going to apply text on white background style here and type some text in. And one thing you'll notice here is that the text is obviously too big for this container. But what I can do is go over to the shape format tab and there's this button called create link. If I click on that, I get a little icon, which is like a jug full of words. And if I place my mouse pointer over the second text box, it will flow the text from the first text box into the second text box. Then I can do the same thing with the second text box flowing into the third one. So I click into the second text box, create link, and then click on the third text box. Now the text is flowing through these text boxes. I can then put pictures in the remaining spaces. If I click somewhere in the first column, insert picture from this device. I need to resize this and change the layout to square, and then I can drag it down to position. Maybe resize it a little bit more. So obviously my trifold brochure is hardly a work of art yet, but hopefully I've given you enough tips and tricks there for you to create your own. Now in terms of printing out your trifold brochure, obviously you go to file and then print, and you're gonna to need to print on both sides of the paper. So depending on whether you have automatic duplex printing, if you have, you need to print on both sides using the setting flip pages on short edge. If you don't have automatic duplexing, then you can select the option manually print on both sides. So once you've done that, you should better print out your brochure as it's meant to be. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.